Welcome back, everyone. Drop frames going to the second half here. Have you guys seen uh, the changes to the Twitch directory? Have you guys noticed this stuff? I noticed this a while back. I, I don't like it. I'm not a fan. If I go to twitch.tv slash directory, uh, it defaults to show me games and communities sorted by relevancy. I have absolutely oh, let me zoom in a little bit so they can actually read that oh see mine defaulted to popularity i have no idea why relevancy is the default for me because what the fuck is it relevant to <laughs> my interest or <laughs> or what the games that i normally browse like i don't i don't know in my top six relevant streams i've got dota 2 and fifa 18. yeah I've got League of Legends as the number one relevant stream to me. Variety Streaming, which is a community. Uh, and then it kind of goes on PUBG, Dota 2, Fortnite. Um, yeah, and interestingly well, enough, mine... Go ahead, Zeke. You are Twitch.tv uh, slash directory? Yeah. I don't have... Mine also, JP, defa defaulted to games. Mine doesn't show games and communities. Weird, mine doesn't yeah. either. It doesn't have the show me or sorted by. Are you guys on the new thing or did you default to the old stuff? I have those two things at the top. Yeah. Uh, mine just says games and popularity instead of games and communities and relevancy. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Mine if you says, go to the second one there, yeah. Then and then you do popularity on the right. Right. I, I usually go to channels and then, whoa, they split it to Xbox One and PS4 now. So you can actually see the number one oh. Xbox One streamer. Is Xbox Alive and the number one PS4? Wait is... a second, you can't sort by PC? Well, all platforms is. <laughs> oh, all platforms that matter, Xbox and PS4. Okay, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. <laughs> I mean, it'd be weird to put PC there because, like, yeah. I get, I don't, I don't know. I see what you're saying, but that's a weird distinction, I guess. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> yeah. Then they have communities and creative communities. So, I don't know. I must be on the old one because I don't I don't have those I don't have those uh, drop downs. I don't have they them have on my other streamer or my other just for creative. Yeah, well, for creative communities. Oh, Look at that. Yeah, man, they I I I don't think I've ever seen Twitch push something more than they did creative. Like they wanted they wanted that to be big so badly. Yeah, front page time, entire shows based around it, like an entire section, a custom code for that section, the hashtag thing. Like they went so ham on that. It's a really weird thing to to not because it's games or not games on Twitch, but just because it's in my mind that those are so niche. I don't know how they could get any bigger than they already are. Like you're not gonna tap. There's not an un, I don't see an untapped market there. Maybe I'm maybe they have information that I don't know. But dude, um, they being real quick. Speaking of Twitch changing how things are shown. Um, now I don't know. Let me let me preface this by saying I don't know what I did. Um, I may have <laughs> yeah. set this somehow. Maybe something happened. But I got the mobile app on Twitch. And one of the things I'm really noticing now is when you go into a game directory. Uh -huh. So if you click on They Are Billions. Especially, well, a better, a better example would be the, uh, let's say, the IRL section. Because there's people all over the map in that section. Yeah. It now orders the streams based on things that aren't just the normal viewer count. Yes, I have that on I the mobile app too. You know, the I've seen uh, uh, vodcast streams with higher viewers show up lower. I've seen streams that are not in my default language show significantly under streams that are of my language. Yeah. So like one of the, 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 uh, the examples is like if you go into IRL, the top English stream might have 5,000 people. The one below that has 2,500. And then you see a vodcast for 2,000. Then you see an 8,000 viewer Taiwanese stream. Then you see a 6,000 viewer Japanese stream. Then you see a 1,000 viewer English stream. Like it seems to be all over the map. I've tried to figure out some rhyme or reason to it. The mobile. I don't app, know what algorithm they're using. The mobile but it app is, weird. is really bad. It's not how you. Yeah, I I don't like the mobile app specifically for the reason that it doesn't list by viewers, and it I'm so trained from my entire life on Twitch of seeing it linked or like sorted by viewership that it's really weird when I'm just trying to find a stream that I'm not currently following, like. If I'm on the also, mobile app, I will only pretty much watch a stream that I'm following because it's so much easier to go to that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, me too. I basically only use the follows now. Yeah. Also kind of crazy, I think they removed the ability to use your Twitch messages from the mobile app. Really? 
I, I maybe again, I, I can't find it, but like I was not able to locate where I go to get my messages in this. Oh, another thing well, I just happened to notice, you can't notify yourself to get an email when you get Twitch messages anymore in your inbox. It's just gone. I used really? to get emails all the time when people would send me Twitch messages. They just stopped. I went into my notifications. That option is just gone. You can't get an email when you get Twitch messages anymore. So I don't know if they're phasing out the system or wanting to or something. I mean, it was, let's be frank. It needed a redesign yeah. five years ago. So, you know, I like, I don't know if they're just giving up on it, but yeah, it's, it's weird. It's weird. Yeah. I've, I've got whispers, but I don't have messages and it's weird that there's a distinction between the two. You would think that the whispers would just well, whispers like an IM and then the, the, in, the, in, the message is like an email. Why not just make those one? Because you see, it's two different design teams, JP, and you can't pay both of them. <laughs> I know. You have that, to pick one and then fire the other one. That's just so, that's, that's business, just, JP, a, business. just a weird up. thing. That's just a weird thing to think about. I, I know exactly. You're probably 100% right with that. But just why not fucking combine the two of those? Like, anyways, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I mean, it does, but it doesn't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it does uh, and doesn't. The oh. other thing, we, we didn't talk about this because I think it happened right before our Game of the Year show. Uh, we didn't really talk too much about platform changes. Uh, the NFL is now on Twitch like every Thursday, I guess. I think that's a thing. I don't know if that's ongoing. Um, at this point, dude, I'm not surprised at all. With that kind of stuff. Yeah, let me let me see if there's... I think the NBA was on there a little bit too, right? I don't... Was it the NBA or was it the WNBA? It might have been the well, WNBA. Um, but there's a help. I hadn't heard about the NFL thing, though. Yeah, there's a help article. Uh, Thursday Night Football on Twitch. How do I watch There's Night uh, TNF on Twitch? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Um, the following sharing permissions are enabled for the stream. You can share links to the channel, but you cannot clip, host, or co-stream it. Um, the other oh, interesting the other interesting thing Wait, about that. But you can't host it? I guess not. I wonder if that's because they don't want like. I I don't know. The only thing I could think of is that they don't want inflated numbers. Well, it's not really inflated, but I think the reason that you can't do that is Twitch because is it, inflated numbers. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I think the reason. This is just me guessing. Is it uses a different player on that channel, and it uses a I believe it's an Amazon, uh, like video player. And the reason I think that's the reason I know that's true is because one, it looks different. And two, if you have that uh, video player open and you're capturing that computer, HDCP is introduced into the HDMI capture and it stops the capture. You can no longer see that PC until you close the browser, which means that there's HDCP being introduced just like on a PS4 or sorry, a PS3 when you don't have that splitter uh, to strip it from there. Uh, this is getting way too technical. It uh, it'll not let you capture it. So, just a way to prevent uh, restreaming or recording of that stuff. So, we'll see where they go with that. I, I'm I also don't know how viewership has been. Let me see. It's basically DRM. Yeah. Um, let me see if I want to see what type of viewership that stuff gets. But I'm failing on. I guess I can go to Twinge. Is it just? TN, what's the website for it? Oh, Prime Video. They don't even, they didn't make it their own channel. It's just Prime Video. Uh, 7,800 average viewers on it. That's not bad. I guess you would, I, I don't not know. Not bad for it, like no hosting at all. Like, yeah. That's, that's not bad. The thing is, okay, so the premise is that they want people to come to Twitch to watch the NFL and chat. Like it still has a full chat and everything, right? Yeah, it's got a full chat. The chat's actually kind of fun because, I mean, you're watching like NFL, you're watching the NFL with Twitch chat introduced. I, I yeah, kind of into that. I mean, I could I could see some some like especially if they were to introduce like fun mini games, you know, like they did on that. Remember that stream they did the dev stream where viewers could participate in the game and like yeah. they could spawn little ships and stuff. Like imagine if you were a sports ball fan. And you had like some kind of virtual currency and you could bet on how plays go or you could bet who was going to win that, you know, like I mean, who was going to win that. You know, you, there, there's all sorts of fun stuff. They can what if out. you had a real currency? What if they're going to do bits? any of it? Well, yeah. 
you can, you can make a real currency called bits and throw that in there to an extension because extensions can now have, you know, you can have ad revenue or revenue from extensions now. That's a thing. So I, I wonder if they'll go down that path. Real close to gambling, but oh, 100. <laughs> I mean, that's not real close. That is gambling. That's yeah, <laughs> that is gambling. Yeah. yeah. I wonder what they'll, uh, they'll do with that. So. Uh, hey, Co, I heard about this website on Twitch. It's called Twitch.tv. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. you can, I mean, like, I have personally won quite a bit of money. <laughs> Tell me how, how much money would you say, Zeke, have you personally won from it? Oh, like thousands of dollars. <laughs> oh. Whoa. That's a lot of money. <laughs> um, I'm just browsing the, the Twitch blog for a sec. Did you know, we're, Twitch is now on Alexa, and I guess it's audio only? Not so fucking loud, dude. She'll hear you. Zeke, do do it. Say Alexa, open Twitch. See what it does. Alexa, open Twitch. It's working. What is it doing? Oh, you just opened it on my TV. Because I have Fire TV hooked up to it. What did you do? God damn it. <laughs> huh. I wish you could hear this because she's saying uh, you. Uh, it would be best if you hooked up or if you'd logged into your Twitch account with uh, Alexa or whatever. And I didn't even know I had that app on my Fire TV. You literally opened. There's a Twitch app on Amazon, the Amazon yeah. Fire TV, and now it turned my TV on and went to the app in the oh. other room. Makes sense. My oh, shit, Lord. like it, it was. So here... shut up, dude. Shut up, Alexa. Stop. <laughs> here's some of the things she kept, that she kept talking here's some of the things that the i guess it's called an alexa skill is is what that's called technically those are apps yeah little apps yeah you can do uh if you've linked your twitch account you can say something i'm not gonna say it because you can go after alexa's right next just, to just say uh bexa before you say it yeah you could say bexa ask twitch for follow channels or bexa tell twitch to show me channels i follow uh yeah. discover a new channel for your favorite gamer twitch category Bexa, ask Twitch who's playing World of Warcraft, or Bexa, ask Twitch to suggest an IRL channel. Huh. It's some of the most popular channels by saying Bexa, ask Twitch for popular channels, or Bexa, ask Twitch for which streams are popular. Uh, find out most games or categories streaming by, like, by ask Twitch for popular games. Tell Twitch to suggest a game for me. Play a channel directly by name. Bexa, ask Twitch to play channel name. And I guess it just plays the audio. That's, cool. that's, that's what yeah. my, my daughter, well, that's what my echo was saying. My echo was saying like, please tell me which kind of channel you, uh, you'd like to watch. If you know the name of the channel, please say that or something like that. This is really cool. Well, and, and again, like if, if, if I were to say all of that, it would just open it on my TV in the Twitch app. So it's like, if you have that hooked up, you can actually just play the streams and everything. Most yeah. likely. I mean, dude, ever since I got the fire TV hooked up to Bexa, like you can now do like, Play this on Hulu. Start, stop, pause. Like it invalidates a remote control. It's amazing. You you just you never need a remote anymore, except for volume. Alexa, for some reason the Fire TV can't do. Play no. Cannibal Corpse. <laughs> <laughs> nice. No, oh, yeah, you know what? I, I had a sub <laughs> worth a shot. I had a sub this morning, and you know what his name was? Oh, I saw this. Underscores between all of them, his name was Alexa. Set alarm for three a.m. Yeah. I saw that. That's awesome, dude. That's his actual Twitch username. So now I have to go, Alexa, remove last alarm. <laughs> Man, there we go. This, is yeah. a, this is a complete random tangent. But if you're going to introduce a video uploading thing on Twitch, don't use fucking Vimeo to show videos on your goddamn blog, Twitch. Use your fucking upload thing that you have on your own fucking platform. <laughs> does, does no one think about that stuff? Am, am I, maybe there, let's just, I'm just going to say maybe there's a reason they do that for mobile purposes or I don't know. Why the? Zeke. What? What? You subscribe to channels via that app. Ooh, see if, I don't, I didn't see that. I didn't see that as one of the options. I don't know. Hey, guys, I got to take a quick break. But before I do, Bexa, subscribe to Co-Carnage. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Have a great one. Can you make... That would be great, though. You can make purchases on 
Amazon with your Alexa, but you can't. I don't know if there's other app purchases on Alexa because I don't use it for that. I don't use it to purchase anything, so I don't know how that would work. Alexa, add chloroform to my shopping list. <laughs> Cancel that. Delay that order. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. Alexa, nice. move chloroform from my shopping list. Nice. I like it. I like it. Alexa, clear list. <laughs> Oh, man. oh, he's going up. <laughs> I think he unplugged it. I think he unplugged it. Shut up now. <laughs> Shut that up. Stop talking now, Jesus. Um, <laughs> I don't think there's anything else that's really happened. Is that? Can you still use those holiday emotes that people are getting for cheering? Is that done with? Or do those? Yeah, that's through January. I think okay. they're still doing the charity thing too. Maybe. Okay. Well, that's cool. Um, well, that, there's nothing really other Twitch news besides that. I just thought that NFL stuff was cool. Uh, Zeke, how's Persona? I, I don't... I We can't talk about too much because I guess spoilers still. I guess you don't want to spoil that game, but eh. still having fun with it? Well, I'm going to be playing Dude. it in like... Oh, yeah, oh that's true. Yeah. You're going to be playing in, in what in a little bit? After Xenoblade. I'm going to try Persona. Yeah. If you want um, to talk about some more <laughs> stuff, I can for a second. No, 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 no. I won't talk about spoilers. So I'm, I'm not that far into the game, really. And the, the only the, the, the characters that you get are sort of spoiled in the title screen. Like, if you look at the title screen of the game, like when it does like the, the, cool animated title until it gets to the screen, you see like outlines of all the persona people that are all the confidants that you can get that, that kind of stuff. But. I won't spoil anything. Um, yeah, the, hey, I went to the beach yesterday. Had a lot of fun. Uh, yeah. We were we were in Waikiki, really sunning ourselves. Yeah, it was a school trip. It was great. Um, we didn't get a lot of stuff done. We did, you know, you go to these places and you think like, man, I'm gonna see so many sights, and then you just spend the time with your friends and and you know stand around in a circle on the beach on your phones. Kind of what we did yeah. doing that thing. Um, but uh, no, and I got the the free DLC made outfits, made in Butler outfits. Oh, um, that's that was okay. a free download. That was nice. I thought this was um, themed to the dungeon. Nope, nope. This is this is a DLC that's free on the PlayStation Store. Okay. Uh, I also got the swimsuits. I got the Christmas outfits. Um, it is still super fucking fun. Um, there are sections where you will get huge chunks of what my chat has yelled at me is character development and sometimes you'll like it you'll be going along with it. I was like oh i like this particular character developing story yeah. section that takes you know an hour and a half if you're reading everything um or whatever hour and a half two hours of just like you know story little choices here and there but no, not a lot of battling. And there's some that you won't like, and that will be fucking boring. But you have to slog through them. And that's part of the game. Like, some of them you like, some of them you won't. And they go on just long enough where you're like, okay, can we can we get to a battle now? And then they're like, okay, battle time. Like, okay, good, good. I was I was ready to go. So But there are there are a few, like once you get into the game a little bit more, there are there are bigger chunks of just just dialogue and story, which if you like it, it's a lot of fun. And I, there's a lot of times when I'm really enjoying it. I can interject. Um, I can make fun of the characters, um, you know, make fun of the story, the voice acting, whatever. But um, man, it's still fun, dude. And I will say since this game has such fucking phenomenal music, it makes it that much easier to, to get through and stay in certain places and it enhances the enjoyment of the game so much. It's it would be fucking if it if the music was bad, this game I would have quit this game 115 hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> but the music is is so goddamn good. Um, the UI, the colors, the vibrancy, the the style of it. It's still it's it's an amazing game. Um, you don't have to you don't have to be an anime aficionado or even like it to a to a you know 
heavy extent yeah. to enjoy this game. I'm enjoying this game because I like turn-based RPGs, and I don't really have a, a love for JRPGs. I like them, but this has so much more... I mean, look at that. This, these are the, these are the menu screens. Look at that shit. Yeah, they're great. It's just the menu screen. I fucking love it, man. Um, the story is unfolding. That's the one thing where one place where I think it's sort of like it's not hitting above a, a seven is the story of the thing. The story really? of the thing is not. It's not super intriguing or you know anything like really surprising. I think that um, picks up towards the end. I think that's kind of par for the course with. That's what people game. have said. Like, yeah. As far as, as as far along as I am, I think this is the fifth palace. I want to say, um, I, the story. I'm sure the story starts ramping up. Yeah. But as it is now, it's 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 good, but it's not great. Everything else is like a nine or a ten, and the story is just like a little above average. Yeah. <clears throat> it is a really weird. Uh, I don't want to pull away too much from Persona, but it's really weird to talk to you and have you talking about a JRPG in a good light. And then I'm going to talk to Ko and have him talk about a JRPG in a good light. And then I'm just like, yeah, Path of Exile is pretty good. <laughs> like, <laughs> and I'm not playing a fucking JRPG. What that Nino no Kuni do? Yeah, I know. <laughs> let's, yeah. let's give it like, two, what is it, two weeks? Uh, no, no, no. It comes out in March. That got delayed till March. That's not in January anymore. Oh, yeah, I oh, think damn it. I, think, I didn't know that. Yeah, I think I was actually March. looking forward to trying my first one. I thought it was like mid this month or something. I think it got delayed. Maybe I'm. Yeah, I'm delayed a look. second time to March 2018. Uh, March. It okay. comes out March 23rd. Guess I'll have to play more Persona. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I guess so. Um, um, but it's it's. It's been the game since Darkest Dungeon that I've been playing for hours and hours and hours. I'm not sick of it. I'm loving it. I still have a lot of fun playing it. Um, there's so many elements to it that I really enjoy. It's been good for the channel, which is a factor. Is a factor I have to factor in. Oh, yeah. It's been really good for the ch for the channel as well. And I think I made a tweet yesterday saying like, I keep expecting people to go like to get to be getting sick of this game and they're just not they're like this has been the game among like top three games I've ever played that the most people have said I'm enjoying watching you play this so much that I bought the fucking game. Well, that's good. Cool, so man. many people said that like I've enjoyed it or they said I enjoy your playthrough so much I'm playing through a second time or a fucking third time. Maybe you should send that to Atlas so they can understand how <clears> Twitch works. <laughs> <laughs> right? to them yeah, right? that's not a factor apparently <laughs> yeah um, yeah uh I'm, I'm glad you're enjoying it yeah no i'm 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 loving every minute of it uh i can't wait to get back to it every day it's it's one of those it's like dark souls remember when you were talking about dark souls like it's one of those days one of those games where we wake up like ah i get to play persona today fuck yeah man i had i had this random and i it hasn't gone <laughs> away i had this random feeling the other day of like i kind of want to play a dark souls game and it hasn't stopped. <laughs> and I think it's because I was watching, uh, I think it's I'm Anthony. You. you had the same thing? I downloaded it last night watching Anthony. Yeah, play. I think it's watching Anthony. Watching him do the Twin Princes and the, the Soul of Cinder. I was like, oh, I should probably play this game. And, then my, and I looked for Demon Souls. Like, where can I get Demon Souls now? And I, you can't get it anywhere. Aurelian's brother is playing through Neo. And, and that he, he was talking to me about that. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, JP, just saying, you haven't done the Neo DLC, right? I haven't, no, I have not. You have some of the hardest bosses waiting for you to attempt them. I know, I've like, got, look, we've got all of Jan, we got till the 20, what, what day is Monster Hunter, 22nd, 23rd? And you haven't played Neo on the PC either, I have haven't, you? no, I have not. I don't know, we'll see. I, Dude, I'm, I'd love to see you play Neo. I'm hoping this goes away. I hope, I hope this Dark Souls style game feeling goes away, because it... I don't need to play any more Dark Souls. I've played a lot go with of it. Dark Souls. Go with just it, man. Go, just go with it. All right, we'll see. Let it happen. We'll see. If you, hey, if if you're enjoying the game, so will your audience. Uh, that's something I've learned. Wait, why is everyone in bath suit or swim attire now, Zeke? I just saw. 
just caught this. Why oh, because it, it was it got really hot in there. I mean, these oh. these are machines. They okay. don't need air conditioning. All right. And have you ever been in a room locked like in a small room with a lot of computers going? No. Like, it gets really warm, and you got to take off. You got to take off as much clothing as you can. You're sweating. It's hot. So I, you know, I was doing my characters a favor. Okay, that makes sense. That also, makes sense. it's free DLC. Like the swimsuit shit is free DLC. That's it's weird. fan service. That's weird. Where she does the pose in the swimsuit, and then it, it goes to the armor. <laughs> that happens a lot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he he like was, when when uh, if if Joker does his his all out attack and he wins, you see him like jump in and then he has his hand up and then he because he puts he like adjusts his glove. Yeah. There's no glove on his hand because he's in a swimsuit. <laughs> he's like he's got his like bare arm and he's like yeah and then it appears like poof. Nice, nice. That's good. <laughs> Hey, Z, just a, a quick random question. I'm noticing when you run by some of these options, there's an X prompt that looks suspiciously like a cover system. It's a hiding system. It's yeah. uh, it's for ambushing. Ambushing is a big part of how you engage mobs. If you want, there's three ways to engage mobs. One, they engage you, meaning like you fucked up and they hit you and they get to go first. The other way is to go straight on and hit them first, which means it just goes based on speed whoever's like whoever's speed is first um and then ambush means all of your team gets to go first oh cool so you want yeah. to ambush them as as often as possible some sometimes you can't like like mini boss fights like this you can't ambush them but more often than not you fucking you sneak up behind them and then engage them or hide behind like a little planter or something and then jump out and engage them and there's a huge like uh red circle that appears and it says ambush like over top of it mm -hmm. cool mm -hmm. yeah yeah um and it's like and i suggest playing it on, if you're playing it first time play it on the hard difficulty because there's only normal and hard to start yeah. out with unless you want to download the extreme or something uh, it's not relentless it's um i can't remember the 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 last difficulty can you play that <laughs> but you can download game? you can download that one if you want to i think it's free download oh um but play on hard, definitely. It's a challenge, but it's not. It's not impossible. Merciless, right. thank you, merciless. Um, you said you're about halfway through. So what are, you, are is this till Monster Hunter? Is this kind of your jam? Um, you know, I don't know. I'm not even sure if I'm going to really get into Monster Hunter all that much. That's true. But That's true. Yeah, no. Until I beat this, this is this is going to be my jam, interspersed with, uh, uh, indie Sundays and, uh role playing in drop frames <laughs> yeah i noticed is she riding a ice bicycle uh no that's her persona it's actually her persona in the form of a motorcycle okay that's johanna in the form of a motorcycle can you change the form mm, i don't think you can change personas oh okay. on the on the uh ancillary characters it's very uh it's very final fantasy 13 seeing seeing the the frozen looking bicycle thing it makes me think of uh yeah. snow and shiva and all that shit anyways uh from one jrpg to another we'll check in real quick uh how's xenoblade i actually watched you play a little bit yesterday and you're pretty you're getting pretty far into the game you're almost to where i'm at uh probably 10 15 hours away uh are you still liking it co you still into it i am really liking it i'm i'm getting to the point where i'm getting to that dangerous part of the game where i don't even necessarily have to like characters yeah. i've just been with them for so long at this point where i'm like interested to know where they're going yeah. you know yeah. and uh it's also getting to the point where like the last four or five major cutscenes have all introduced new story element questions yep and done very little to answer anything so without being too spoilery you know you get to one part and it's like whoa okay so who's that and then the next one's like a flash to the past and all of a sudden everyone's different and you're like what's going on oh my god it's that guy and then like an hour later it's like holy shit who's the who are these two people and it's just and all of that's kind of on top of what's going on so i i have to admit i'm 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 kind of starting to enjoy it more and more i'm becoming more interested in where the story is going they're doing some kind of fun new story elements. They're getting a little bit darker, which I like. You know, it's not all just happy anime. It gets uh, it, real dark. It's getting to some. It's getting to some points where it's becoming much more gray. And yes. I and I honestly, I didn't really expect that. I didn't think this game was going to go that direction. So that's a welcome surprise. I like seeing people kind of, you know, get to the the darker underbelly of that kind of stuff. And um, 
but the combat's been developing. You know, I've, I'm starting to really kind of understand the mechanics better. I just got uh, the tank blade person finally. That's been fun. Yeah, thank uh, God. Starting you're developing pounds. As soon as I like, got her, yeah, I never used the fucking little guy again. Yeah, yeah, and that's been nice. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it's been it's been really good, man. I mean, I'm playing it a lot off stream to just do like the salvaging and stuff. Uh, I'm looking forward to playing it every time I do. And uh, it's just one of those games that's kind of slowly moving in the background while I play other games, and I'm really having a good time. I'm enjoying it. I'm looking forward to see where it goes. Yeah, the uh, the cutscenes that you're coming up on in terms of because this is uh, from today's stream uh, or yesterday's stream. Sorry, yesterday's. Yeah, uh, and the places you're coming up on from here, uh, you start to get some pretty big plot development, and then it does a lot of things like you were explaining where. Just kind of who the fuck is that? Why? What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. Where you see just like a really crazy uh, few seconds of something, and it just completely teases you as to its purpose, and you're just like, no, no, go back to that. Like, like we need to talk more about what you just showed me. Like, stop, stop, pause, pause everything else. You're also that, that's yeah. happened more than a couple times. You're also coming uh, up. Also, on... I have to. Oh no, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no. Go well, I was gonna say <laughs> I got to one of my favorite parts so far. There is this character in this game that is iconically over the top. And he is suspiciously similar to somebody. And I would have said that anyway. But then the fact that his name is Zeke and he calls himself the Zekeinator yeah. is like the it, it is it is ridiculous. Yep. And every like it's become this this like channel meme every time we see him. We're like, it's Ezekiel! And like he's this ridiculous over-the-top guy, and he's one of the funnier characters in it. And especially the the last cutscene I had with him was great. Yeah, and uh, we're kind of divulged a little bit about who he was. And I'm not going to talk about that; it's a little spoilery. But it's it's been fun, and and I got to admit, a lot of the stuff at the beginning of the game that I thought was like super anime y don't get me wrong, it is, but it becomes for me as somebody who's not huge into this style of anime, it becomes much, much, much more like I, I don't want to say bearable, um, but it becomes a lot what I feel like is more generalized it's not super cutesy anime it's not sure. like over the top angled towards kids anime there's a lot of kind of like adult every so often there's some pretty adult stuff that happens and some of the jokes they allude to are clearly not meant for kids and <laughs> yeah it, it's uh... it's enjoyable but then you get characters like there's a few characters oh my god i i just got this ice i just got this ice blade and holy shit i thought i thought the boob bug from elix was bad um Oh my lord! It's literally like like two water balloons. That's all I'm gonna say. Like, oh it, yeah. If she if, yeah, yeah. if she moves slightly to the right, it's like, oh, what's that over there? Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. <laughs> ah, yeah. Yeah. This is yeah. Um, like how jiggle does this physics. make it <laughs> Like oh, it's not jiggle physics. It's a jiggle system. Yeah. Like it is. Oh my lord. Um, a jiggle. Is... <laughs> kind of ridiculous. I, uh, I've seen a lot of them. No, uh, yeah, I haven't enough, even met Dahlia. Have... No, it's not Dahlia. I... I haven't even met Dahlia. It's it's an ice one named Perrin. Yeah, that, no, um, Perrin's I the best. A, I've had her since uh, the beginning. She's similar crazy. thing. I have a similar thing to say yeah. uh, when playing Persona Five. It's not it's not as bad. It's kind of you you'll miss it if someone doesn't point it out to you. But one of my characters, like when it's her turn and she's getting ready to go, she's not moving. She's stationary. But her boobs are going like this, like moving independently <laughs> of Japan. themselves, like, like it's like it's like a like a guinea pig inside of a, a ball, and it's moving around like That's Japan, independent man. of her body. No, <laughs> Japan. Yeah, the other thing, Ko, that uh, you're approaching is probably one of the things that I dislike the most about the game is where they start to gate a lot of the content behind uh it's been so long since i've behind blade abilities through like wind mastery and stuff like that so like you're gonna go into a dungeon and there's like you gotta have wind mastery four earth mastery three and something else at four and if you don't have that then you can't move forward and it mm. really sucks I've What's I was not only warned about that, but I, oh. I've here's the thing I've been doing. I've been doing a lot of offline farming. Yeah. And I've been doing a lot of offline Merc missions. Well, that's good. So not only do I, I have like 13 rare blades 
Nice. And I've I've got a bunch of high level alternate blades like that are getting like Wind Mastery, you know, Fire Mastery two stuff like that. So I'm hoping it should be good. since I've done a whole bunch of Merc missions, I'll be okay. But there's no question you're not the first person to say that. There's someone else that was like, dude, if you don't, if you just try to play this game beginning to end, you will get to a point where you have to oh, yeah. do literally hours of side farming yeah. to continue the game. And I'm hoping I got around that doing the Merc mission system. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, it's still the other thing is it's still fucking annoying me because you have to. It sounds so stupid to complain about this, but the way that the menus are set up, it takes like a, literally a single minute to go in, change everything to the blades, hit the thing, go back in, change everything back to your blades. Like it should just look in your entire blades and just be like, do you have these blades? All right, we're going to go and fire it off. Like that's Dude, all I they know. have to do. It would solve so it's, many issues. And the worst part is when you don't know if you have what you need so then yeah. you're going through every single blade you're looking you're like okay no no let me yeah. go this okay let me go to this character no 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 it's it's just yeah and then the worst part just on top of that there's a lot of little issues like that in this game like uh the merc system every time the mercs come back <laughs> yes, you have to that. wait like 30 seconds per merc as it shows you the new skills they got and then you have to click two different buttons different buttons to move through that merc and then it goes to the next one and there's six for each one so it makes, you know, a system that could have been just like skip all with one button take like four minutes yeah. for every, uh, it's just, I don't know. Some of the stuff in Xenoblade just drives me crazy. And those two things I just mentioned are probably some of the worst. Oh, here's another rare blade we got. Actually, I got three rare blades. Oh, I've never world. seen this one. Yeah. This is a little tank, bro. One of her field skills is the power to instantly forget things. What? That's one of her special field skills. Yeah. That's weird. I, I have no idea how that's going to be used ever, but. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Apparently Finch is really good. <laughs> Finch is God tier, apparently. Finch is pretty good. Apparently she's a decent tank because uh, of her alt skills and she works really well on uh, Morag. But I have Morag now with, uh, I don't remember who I put on Morag. I put a bunch of tanks on Morag. Yeah, I've got three so. tanks on Morag as well. Shit, I kind of want to see Finch. Did you buy the expansion pass, by the way, for the game? This game? Yeah. I didn't even know there was one. Yeah, you get a bunch of uh, stuff with it. Um, oh, it has jump and bird brain. Okay. Uh, you get uh, some in-game currency with it. You get... Uh, they're going to do DLC. Um, but you also get a bunch of... Uh, I think you get like two rare blades with it or something like that. One lucky core crystal or something like that. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, I've, this is actually the the other alternate. From did you fish up the blade? I don't. Think actually, so. you can you can in the in the fourth town you can talk to an informant that tells you about a driver that got eaten, and then you can after you get that information you can go to the salvaging point and you fish up a boss, and if you oh, beat it yes. you get. Oh wait, that guy. Did I do this? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I use her. I use her as the the uh, tank on Morak. Yeah. Yep, yeah, she's she, one of my she's on Morak as well. She's like uh, she's a dark element or whatever right mm -hmm. yeah yeah user anyways i need to finish that oh, i also put the the ninja dude on her which was not the best idea she has two darks but the the straight up samurai bro i don't remember his name percival i want to say maybe? percival yeah, yeah um yeah. that guy's awesome so yeah. yeah i'm using as many uh female characters as i can because i'm using the bath chick and she does more damage the amount of female characters that you use so I, <laughs> my plays is a female character so anyways uh, <laughs> that girl's so ridiculous. Yeah, I need I need to go back and I, I think I'm like 15 or 20 hours away from finishing it. I need to just knock that right out. Right now, before. how far are you? I am in, I think, I think I just started chapter seven. Oh, wow. So you're like a few hours from me, right? You just hit chapter six? I want to say I'm in five. Okay. They're pretty long. You got there's yeah. some long dungeons. I I want to say you're probably right. ten to twenty out, ten to fifteen hours, ten to twenty hours maybe for me, uh, depending oh, on what yeah. you do. Uh, I did a lot of like, there was I got to a town and went back and farmed for a bunch of shit and yeah. Oh, and here's the third one. Yeah, this is prune. This is the first rare blade I got. She's a spear. She does a lot of damage. She's, oh my god. She's really strong. You can see, you can see my face. Here. I'm like, oh, that's ridiculous. And then she moves, and I'm just like, wait, what? yeah oh okay yeah it's it's japan it's japan oh i started chapter eight okay maybe it never never mind you started chapter eight already yeah okay. so i only have 
it's it was funny because it was the day that Path of Exile launched. I hit chapter eight, and there was like it's so funny that this is going on behind. There was a like a insane story thing that happened, and I was just like, all right, well, Path of Exile came out. I'll see you guys in a couple of weeks, and I just like closed the game. So I haven't been back to it in a very long time, um, but I need to. I want to go back and finish it. It deserve I deserve. I, I want to finish it because I put so many fucking hours into it just for that very reason. So, uh, that's Xenoblade Chronicles. Was there anything else? I know Zeke, you did in the uh, in the Christmas day. <laughs> yeah, I did. Uh, there was a lot of. I think I, I think I went through eight different games in like Jeez. six or six hours ish. Because most of them were just crap, garbage, just terrible. Because you can't have a. Cr- can't do a Christmas theme and have all of them or even most of them be good because when I pick games for Indie Sunday, usually I pick them based on, you know, what they look like, the the blurb, like some of the reviews and stuff like that. But this one, I just, I just went through Christmas stuff. I looked up Christmas. I looked up uh, Santa Claus. I looked up Krampus. I looked up like anything I could think of, like relating to Christmas. And yeah. also uh, my mods made a list of, of, uh, of four or five Christmas games as well. So, I added some to the list. This one's actually pretty good. Um, it's a basic ass platformer, um, and by good, I mean it plays like a platforming game. <laughs> it has platforming. It's playable. Quality. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'll you take it, it a step further. Yeah. It's super slow. Like everything is kind of like brrr, slowed down molasses. Um, <laughs> uh, what? Hold on. The game is called. I'm getting um, upset watching this. Can we move on? No, it's very <laughs> slow moving. And oh, by the way, no controller support. All what? on keyboard. Yeah. Wait a second. Uh, Wait a second. I, Did you just whip over something and it hit your whip and killed you? Can we can we go back a second there? The hitboxes are pretty big. Hitboxes are pretty bad. Uh, this one. Oh, the thing that's called yeah, it's called Krampus Quest. <laughs> Krampus Quest is the name of that game. Krampus Quest was awesome. It was, it's a, uh, uh, how much is it? Oh, $4, man. That's I a lot. For, I think I overpaid for that. But yeah, Krampus Quest is a back to basics retro style action platformer with a Christmas theme, which, yeah, that's accurate. Um, action, I don't know, action, action might be a stretch, but it was a, it was a playable game. With it was just slow, and I mean, look at it. Look, you, you see it. You see what I. You see what I did. I played Man. it for forty-seven minutes. I played it for forty-seven minutes. I'm just glad it was playable because some of them, some of the games I tried to play were not very playable at all. Oh, this is the same game. Are you fighting an asshole? What are you fighting? That's what I said. It's like a, it's like a, a puckered asshole with boxing gloves and wings. <laughs> I can't watch this game anymore. Let's move on. Yeah. Oh look! Is this Stardew Valley ripoff? What is it? <laughs> this is this is such a it's a shit game. <laughs> You're Santa Claus, and you have to throw snowballs at elves inside of these little houses because the elves have stolen the presents and they're going rogue. Uh, this one is called uh, this. I thought it was going to be something different. I really did, because the title of it is Naughty Elves. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the I animation it be something something different but no it's a children's game where you find little openings like you got to throw snowballs at them inside santa can't go inside the house because he's too fat to fit in the door or something so oh you have to throw God. snowballs from outside the house inside the house to stop these elves and knock them out and get the presents from them what happens if you hit that the gingerbread see down man. at the bottom here see or, or, or um, i'm not down there see down at the bottom yeah the reindeer and the sleigh. Yeah. That's how many presents you have to collect, and then you move on to the next level. Ooh, I'm getting upset. Oh, it's good though. <laughs> it's it's playable. This is another one of one of those ones that was actually kind of playable. Okay. Um, but it was so just it's chill. It's for like seriously like five year olds. Yeah. Maybe even four year olds. Like it's <laughs> it's really, really simple. Okay. Let's move yeah. on. Wait, is this uh hold same? on, hold on. Let me get it there, give them their due. The game is called Naughty Elves. Oh, oh yeah. It yeah. is Pause this, pause this. You don't want to miss a single second of this. No, no. The I'm, next one. I skip back. Um, uh, it is $3 on Steam, which is about $2.50 too much. Yeah. Um, 
But yeah, if you want to get it, it's called Naughty Else. It's fucking great. All right, next game. Now this game, oh, this game was great. This game was fucking fantastic. All right, let's move on. This game, I would totally recommend to anybody. This okay. game is called Who's Your Santa? Okay. And what you have to do is you have to go around to different countries throughout the world. You go to America, Russia, Japan, and you have to set traps for Santa Claus. Because you are like, you are like, like, like fucking s and Santa. And you, you're basically setting traps to try and uh, screw over the real Santa Claus. Um, and you're in Russia right now, so of course there's a bear. Um, <laughs> you have to walk around. And they have uh, these awesome, like, like okay, so hopefully I go in the bedroom. There we go. Oh, God. Okay, so you see there's Vladimir Putin on the wall. He's like, yep, he's like the Virgin Mary. This is in Russia. Everybody loves Putin. You gotta walk in while they're sleeping, take their presents. That's what you do. You take all the presents in the house and you set up traps for Santa Claus, like Home Alone style. But it's a little bit, <laughs> a little bit worse than Home Alone. What happens to, to Santa? <laughs> bad things happen. I want you to fast forward to some some point <laughs> where where like I'm actually because you once if you set up the traps wrong, like animations will happen and. And Santa will like escape, so you have to make sure to set it up right. Are you racing Santa here? Did I skip too far. This is ahead? the this is the race to get to the next level, and it's just like a dodging thing. You got to dodge all this stuff. Oh, but yeah, okay. you're racing Santa basically. Wait, wait, wait. You want to get there before Santa does. That's Rudolph on the top with his red nose, and your version with the ball gag. Yeah, I see that right. Oh, okay. Yeah. I guess that's a you absolutely something. did. Yeah, we're trying to find there you go. what. Japanese lady in the bath made me lose. She found me. Because oh. you can't wake up anybody in the house while you're setting up traps for Santa Claus. Sure, yeah. Makes sense. Huh. <laughs> makes, makes total sense. Yeah. Uh, yeah, see if you can. I'm trying. Yeah, I, I don't know exactly what I'm looking for here. Is it? Will it have a different look to it? Or? Um, maybe... Well, I'll tell you what. Oh, oh, hold on. I got an idea. I got an idea. You have a clip? Uh, I, I do have a clip. I have a. It's it's on my best of. All right, you brought a clip last, to the show. My last week in Zeke. What are we gonna see in this clip? <laughs> uh, hold on one second here. In Zog, where where is this? Is this supposed to be the U.S.? Is is what now? In Zog, we trust. Where? No, that's this is America. Yeah. Okay. Look at all the guns. No, I started all the guns, man, I, I, and the nu nukes. And she's wearing, she's wearing. It's Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump in bed. And she's think, wearing I like think a. Probably saying that JP in in lieu of saying in God we trust, like oh yeah. Wow. And there's Arnold so of course that's comes a back. line this game doesn't want to cross, JP. I mean that's when it gets serious, you know. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger, I failed. Arnold Schwarzenegger comes back from the future and kills me and drags me away. <laughs> what the fuck? Send me the clip, God damn it! So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get it for you. Uh, let's see. I gotta find the time time when it starts. Okay. It is at one at one minute fifteen. The the clip I'm gonna give you. Oh, oh okay. Because it's it's actually like a highlight of my week. But if you go to one minute fifteen in that clip, you'll be able to find it. All right. Do, 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 do. All right. But I, yeah, this is this is how the game is. This is when you win a level. All right, here we go. Yeah. Bears on fire. Bears running down. Bears the on fire. I have set all the traps. The bears on fire. He goes find Santa Claus. Oh, Santa! He chases Santa. Santa, Santa goes. Haggard. Steps on a, a a thing of icy lube or icy hot or something and freezes the bear. Uh, an exploding trap. With a dildo. <laughs> what? <laughs> there it is. Woo! And that's how you win. Jesus that's how you win levels. Christ. Now, yeah, I the, <laughs> the game's really interesting. Don't get me wrong. But I'm really yeah. curious. Is that flagged on uh, uh, YouTube? Is this video monetized? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. 
I'm just curious not. if that got through monetization. Hey, if you can't monetize bad Santa, given good Santa the business, I don't know if this is America anymore. I just wonder if we that's monetized. Listen, or not. You don't know what's going on. It's censored. You have no idea what's even happening. Yeah, that's good point. But that game is called Who's Your Santa? Oh, yeah. It's exceedingly Russian. Like, there's a lot of, like, like the voiceover is in English, but it, I think it's a Russian accent. I want to say it is. But it's through, It's two ninety nine. It's an hour long. It took an hour to get through all the little missions and stuff. And it is ridiculous fun. I had That was the best hour that I think I spend on any Sunday or a Christmas Sunday. That's a thing. Let's talk about this RPG Maker game. <laughs> what is this? Uh, I only read. I only stick stuck with this for. Let's see. This one is called. Is this? Hold on. Yeah, this is this is Sugi S U G Y. Uh huh. How do you say that? Sugi Sugi the Christmas Elf. Sugi Sugi. Sugi the Christmas Elf. Two dollars and sixty nine cents on Steam. It's a RPG maker game, and it is, it's bad. It's just really, really bad. Um, however, the reason why I played it for 17 minutes is because of the, of the English. It's, there's some, or no, excuse me, excuse me, it's not English. It's, it's um, uh, a German translation, I believe. It's someone translated from German to English, and it's, it's, <laughs> it's kind of funny sometimes. Okay. But I only, I only played this for 17 minutes. It's... It's not. It's not good. All right. This one looks like a scary game. Um, <laughs> that's a toilet yep. with a bunch of blood in it. Yep. This, Stark that contrast. game was called Bloody Toilet. I believe that was uh, Irony of Nightmare. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. Okay. Yeah. Irony of my Nightmare, and the only reason why this Christmas game is because it takes place on Christmas, and there's like a Christmas tree in the living room with like you know ornaments and shit on, and presents underneath it. That's the only thing it has to do with Christmas, as far as I could tell. Um, but basically, you're trying to you're trying to get out of this house, uh -huh. and it's like find find this, find the key, avoid getting um, avoid getting murdered by what remind me of Captain Spaulding from Rob Zombie movies. He's the he's the clown guy. From, right. If you ever right. seen like, um, is it House of a Thousand Corpses or is it uh, Devil's Rejects? I can't remember. I think it was Devil's which Rejects. Which one? I think. Yeah, Captain, or yeah, it was a Captain Spaulding, right? Uh, He's a clown. Been, it's been a long time since I've seen those, but yeah, that sounds yeah, somewhat but correct. It's like this ghosty looking clown dude with like a beard and shit. And it's, it actually freaked me out. It actually jump scared me quite a few times. Um, wasn't a great, it's not a great game by any means. Um, it's in early access, which I think is kind of hilarious. It's only a buck. Hey, it's, it's only not, a buck. It's accurately priced. Yeah, only a buck. <laughs> Irony of Nightmare is the name. Um, and I played it for 37 minutes, and I nice. think I, I got to the end ah. of it. There he is. Yeah, see? I wonder. I would love to talk to uh, developers putting a game on early access on Steam and try to see, like, what type of research they look at for pricing games and how they go about pricing their games. Yeah. Most of the time, it has to do with how much money they put into the game. Really? Just to try to recoup what they what they already spent? To try, we'll try to make. I mean, you got to remember, most of these even, yeah. are made for profit. Right. Like, this isn't this isn't twenty years ago when these were passion projects and they were trying to you know pay their bills. Like right, right, most right. of these are for profit. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. What's the name of this game, Z? Irony of Nightmare. Let's just see how many people have purchased this on Steam. Uh, we can actually see how many people actually bought it. Yeah, there's uh, plus or minus 2,400 or 1,481. So somewhere in there. Wow. So they've at least mm. made uh, 2,500 2, bucks on this. Well, how much do you think they spent making it? I have no, I, I don't know. Yeah, right, I don't know. I don't, I don't know enough about game development to actually give you an, any idea of how much oh. this would cost. Spoilers, spoilers, we're at the end now. Oh Not my god, about. next game. They're all here, we're, it's the 4th of Christmas. How is this This is the game? worst, this is the worst fucking thing what is... I have ever, it, I laughed so fucking hard <laughs> playing this game. I don't even want to tell you the title because I don't want you to buy it. Um, Tell I don't want to, you to, to type it. I want to see how many people have bought it. All right. <laughs> well, fuck it. I'll just say it. It's called Santa Run. Oh, it's a runner. That's all it is. Santa Run. 
And this is the entire game. You move <laughs> up and down, grabbing Christmas oh presents. Now, bear in mind, I did not look at any of these games before I, I downloaded them and played them. Because that's half the fun is finding out how just how shitty they go. And that's it. This is the game. And I got, I played it for 10 minutes and I got, I 100 percent of it. Because you get, you get an achievement. You get an achievement for turning on the game. Hold on. Let me look. I'll t- let me tell you the achievement. They're so great. You get, start the game. You get four achievements for starting the game. <laughs> I'm kidding you. Jesus you get four Christ. achievements for starting the game. Uh, for closing the game, you get two. Uh, for hitting the blue girl, which you saw before, you get an achievement. For hitting the, the what is a deer, you get an achievement. You get, uh, get hit by the dog, the penguin. Uh, you pick up one present in one map, and you pick up one present in the other map, 100%. Done. Ten minutes. This game came out on December 12th, 2017, and it has yep. sold 2,000 copies. 2,000 copies? Entire- this entire how much was this? See, uh, nine nine cents, a buck. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Good. This might be this, this honestly might be the worst game I've ever played. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say this. This game would take a good coder about thirty minutes to make. If well, they had the art assets, about fifteen. Well, the uh, playtime total average is uh, twenty nine minutes. So. <laughs> <laughs> they what average 29 minutes <laughs> that's the playtime total 29 minutes average unless that's seconds i'm not sure actually how to read this it just says zero zero colon zero zero i would think that's minutes but that might be seconds it's crazy well, I mean, to think listen, that like there's so many thousand dollars yeah well dude listen like that it's not surprising to me after i found out like in the i think the it was the late 70s the pet rock yeah this is a joke this is a <laughs> gag gift but the pet you rock is stuff. smart <laughs> i don't Listen, think no i'm saying it's a dollar it's a dollar gag gift you're like here's a here i gifted you a game here you go <laughs> oh good you know i was wondering what the engine was that's great excellent click team fusion okay good team very fusion. curious <laughs> you know, you know the sad part about I was this. I, it was a, it was really a toss up between Unity or. We're Unreal, talking but. about the game longer than I played it. You know, the actual sad part about this is, I bet you this video gets claimed by one of these games. I guarantee you that this oh. video on YouTube will get claimed by really? one of these games, one hundred percent. Uh, what is this? Do I even want to click this next game? This looks like some... yeah, do 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 do. That looks like some BDSM this, shit, man. Yeah, you can you can skip it if you want. Okay. No, oh, oh come on, you can't not. What? Go ahead, no. just just come it's, a little bit. It's this like is, oh, wait, it's okay. no mind. no no. There's no nudity, no nothing. It's 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 totally totally tame. Um, it's it's called Deep Gachi Gasm, and I looked at it because it was by the makers of Santa Run because I wanted to see what other games they had. Under ghost, uh, ghost underscore rus games, they have like fifteen different games like this. What, like what Santa the... Run and Deep Gachi Gasm and shit like that. Like, Deep... I just wanted to check out another game by them because they had so fucking many, and Santa Run was so fucking bad. I had to see what else they had. And Deep Gachi Gasm, I take it back. That was the worst game I've ever played. <laughs> I take it back. It Deep Gachi Gasm has sold twelve hundred copies. Twelve hundred. <laughs> another C. <laughs> They're the they're the Spencers <laughs> of fucking video. <laughs> the peak concurrent players yesterday was two. <laughs> yeah. The average play time the is eight gifts minutes. Of, oh of Steam. God. You know what I'm curious about? Like, I wanna I wanna know realistically how many people bought these games and never opened them. Because I wonder, it makes me wonder how many people saw these games and went, oh, dude, I'm totally buying this to my, for my buddy as a joke. Like, and just sent him a copy of it. I wonder how many, what percentage of games that this were bought were just. Oh, dude. Total- yeah, for a dollar, man. I, 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 I think it's hilarious. I think it's great. Um, oh, do you like this? Yeah. What Mother's is this? room, I will not interfere. Is this layers of fear? What is this? No, no, it's another game. Uh, I just wanted to say real quick, I 100% of deep gachi gasm as well. <laughs> I got start. I got uh, how many? I got 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Six achievements for starting the game. Um, I got I exited the game. Got an achievement for that. And oh, uh, oh no, they're no, they're most of, mostly for starting the game. You get achievements for just starting the game. Wait, nice. someone in chat just said you can get trading cards off these games. Well, yeah, that's part of the Steam, uh, the Steam like micro game that happens every oh, winter. My Lord. That's why these games exist, apparently. Or yeah, not like exist, achievement, but achievement yeah. games, right? Yeah, apparently you can <clears throat> use it that way. Jesus. Wow. Christ. Yeah, the, there's there, no. The, if you look up like if you Google something like like Steam achievement games or whatever like that, there's there's games with like a hundred achievements that you can get in like you know twenty minutes. Yeah. Um. Well, <laughs> this game was called. Oh, this game was just called Krampus. Okay. Just called Krampus. Uh, it. I mean, it's, it's for like a, a walking simulator horror game. It wasn't horrible. It wasn't terrible. Holy shit. Uh, it's very, like, very low budget, as you can see. But you walk around, you collect things, uh, you try to, uh, uh, I think you avoid being caught, but it's not great by any stretch, and it's way overpriced. It's uh, normally $5, but it's two fifty. Most The reason why I got it is because it mostly negative reviews on Steam. No. <laughs> Zeke, take, I looked it up and it's mostly negative. I, unless I'm reading this, take a guess how many copies this has sold, Zeke. I'm going to say 1,500. Multiply that by about, I'm not going to try to tell you how, 132,000. Copies of Krampus? <laughs> copies of Krampus. Unless Are you I'm fucking wait, kidding me? How much is no. this game? It was five bucks, now it's 249. No, that can't be right. Unless I'm reading this wrong. It says, oh, well. You know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a way you can get around this. Was this game ever part of a Humble Bundle? Well, this is, ooh, I don't actually I don't highly know. doubt it. I don't know how that works. Because there's a, a lot of times if you find little one-off indie games on Steam that having ridiculous amounts of sales, they were part of a Humble Bundle. So yeah. if there was like a holiday Humble Bundle or something, then Maybe. it could. If not, though, um, I mean, you might be tell, looking because Krampus is a pretty well-known name. Is this it right well, that's here? That's it. That is the game. Yeah, that's the game. I mean, it says right here, owners 139,000 on 1214 2017. So I think that also takes into effect uh, refunds. So as of yesterday, it was well, it came out. It came out October 18, 2016. So it's been out for over over a year. Yeah, dude. But that's a million that's dollar game. Fucking crazy. Well, yeah, no, not a million would... dollars. It's it's a lot of money. Lot of money like that's yeah. it's a, it's a it's a six figure game. But, but hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Those numbers can't be right because any any game that sold that much would have more than forty five reviews on Steam. Uh, Again, wouldn't you think? Not if, it, if it was part of a bundle or something, then that. Uh, but hold on, let me take a look here. It's just called. Krampus. I mean, the the category is single player and Steam trading cards. Apparently, according to the chat, the Steam trading like this is a thing on Steam. Is that people shit out these terrible games for Steam trading cards? Oh, yeah. mm. I guess. Which is I, I had no idea that was a thing. I'm learning so much. Huh. Well, and, and the the company who made it, Peace, has made they have like seven games on Steam. So what do you get? For and, the oh my God! And three, <laughs> and I'm, almost all of them are mostly negative. <laughs> I mean, I'll take a mostly negative game for how much money they made. For a hundred thousand bucks, you bet. Yeah. So, what what are the Steam trading cards even used for? I've never gotten into that thing um, before. You can collect Steam trading cards to make sets and then claim them on your account, and that's how you level up your Steam account. That allows you to get more friends added. That more allows friends, you to yeah. player on your homepage. You get you can get items. You can get like there's uh, all. It's a it's a see, honestly only... it's a pretty developed system. That's the only reason why I even looked into like trading cards and shit is because oh. my Steam list is full. My Steam friends list is full. You can oh. sell cards. It's... Yeah, that's what I was going to say. There's an RMT component as well. So, yeah. Also, is anyone else? Like, my entire thing is like. You can make money here. off them too, yeah. Uh, no, it's just you. Okay. Oh, yeah. it, it might actually close. It's doing that. It did this one time before. Uh, and the last time this happened, it shut down completely. So we'll see if that happens. We only got about 10 minutes left in the show, so maybe it can last. Yeah. Um, hey, uh, Jake, we'll probably do a short show today, by the way. Yeah, I, I say it every time, man. And then 
we talk about this well, bullshit. It's, it's so much fun <laughs> talking about these dumb little fucking stupid games because they're fucking. That's. I mean, that's why. That's why. Honestly, that's why Indie Sunday has 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 worked for me for so long because they're not good games, and it's very mystery science theater. It's it's just fucking bagging on them all for an hour. I mean, I can see that. Yeah. What? Hate, hate. hate. I, I'm. I love it. Let's move on. What is, what is this? I want to see how many copies of this sold. Oh yeah. Hold on. Let me. Hold on. I gotta find it real quick. Where is it? Where is it? Hold I want to go to Gingerbread Universe. That sounds pretty good. I do too. I really do too. <laughs> this is like a gra uh, uh, not a graphic skip, novel. Can, can you skip ahead a little bit? It's not a graphic novel, but it's uh, oh, right I, a oh I I can skip yeah, ahead, can, Zeke. You can skip ahead a little bit. I can skip ahead a little bit, and I think you're full screen. There you, go, right there. you can skip right there. No, skip a little bit. A little bit. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? That is no, what I thought. A, of. No, listen, 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 listen. People are gonna say ban and whatever. Yeah, it's not though because this the Steam version is totally censored. It's totally no no showing of nudity at all. Did you uh, it's know called Sakura, Sakura Santa? Oh, okay. So okay, this is Sakura. Yeah, this it's, it's is Sakura Santa. It's uh, no, yeah, of course it has. It yeah. sold probably a million billion. Um, it's normally ten bucks, two fifty right now. It's a Sakura game, of course. Yeah. Sakura. <laughs> Look how excited yeah. you get. Which... <laughs> oh, exactly. And hold on, did I? Hold on. If you wait a second, I think I might do something. Maybe. Oh, do you? Uh... Nah, never mind. Okay. No, I, 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 say, turn around and I'm, I yeah. motorboat. No, 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 yeah, yeah. No, no, I got, <laughs> yeah. it. I got it. I got it. But yeah, that was the last. That was the last Christmas game. The, the, the game I played to, to end the day and to get drunk was Drawful. Yep. Drawful, Drawful Two, actually, still fun, still love it. Yeah. But yeah, it was a lot of fun on Christmas. Yeah. No, those were some. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Some interesting games for sure, for sure. Yeah. Uh, we got big, like... big thanks to to my mods for picking those games out. Are that you doing uh, in, Indie Sunday Returns this upcoming weekend? Or are you gonna just persona? Yeah, no, no. I, I will be doing Indie Sunday this Sunday. Okay, cool. For sure. Yep. Um, there was a little bit of news that we should probably uh, mention so that people stop telling me about it in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Monster Hunter is currently being optimized for PC and is planned for an autumn 2018 release. So, yeah, at least eight months uh, away. So, thankfully, it's not terrible on PS4. So it could be a lot worse. Could I gotta, worse. I gotta convince people about that Xbox One X, man, because it, if it if it runs that much better, <laughs> I gotta get some people to buy some Xbox One Xs. Cause it, yeah, we'll see. Um, was there, there was, I thought there was one other thing. There's a bunch of, uh, stuff going around about, um, the Intel CPU processor design flaws, but I'm not smart enough to understand that. So I'm not going to try. I'll to give you a talk quick rundown. Okay. Um, there's specs apparently coming soon, but what it looks like is there was a internal flaw that has existed for. 10 years it's been there for a long time Jeez. and uh they're talking about the patching that will be required to fix the inherent flaw can have potentially up to a 5 to 30 percent slowdown uh, in os functions now here's the thing we need to wait for the stats to come out and also there's a lot of misinformation going around because some people are saying that that only affects base operating system functionality so it's like that won't split so your games down and stuff like that like that that's different i don't only be restricted to the os and there's also people saying the exact opposite that it's going to influence everything you do on your computer so it's it's a, right unfortunately it's kind of like an alarmist zone right now because no one's quite sure what's going on but we should have details within a week and it could be pretty bad potentially okay. um, especially if like a fix isn't found relatively soon Okay. Well, that sucks. Yeah. We'll just have to see. Um, also, this was announced. Uh, this was announced before our, or maybe right after our uh, Game of the Year show, so we haven't had a chance to talk about it, but it was back in uh, er, middle December. Uh, Twitch is making that reality TV show thing for the uh, streamers again uh, called Stream On. Um, 
I'm reading an article right now on The Verge from it. It's American Idol style competition. I'll just show it. Uh, contestants will stream from their own homes. Since it's on Twitch, the show will be a bit of audience participation. Twitch says viewers will play an important role in determining who advances through competition. Twitch says the show will be open to those uh, in its partnership program, which includes... Uh, oh, never mind. That's Verge linking to their other article. Uh, contestants must be, must be based in the US, UK, or Canada. Winner will be provided with a stipend of $5,000 monthly stipend for five thousand dollars per year so yeah then there's that uh <laughs> real quick uh before just real quick before we move on yeah um intel actually released a statement oh really and uh recent reports that these exploits are caused by a and they actually do this bug or a flaw and are unique to intel products are incorrect that's one of the lines from this statement so apparently they may be challenging this anyway oh. sorry just wanted to add that in there like oh. i more more this? drama for the pot, I guess. I don't know. Oh, this is but the anyway. Twitch video that they put out for this. Yeah. There's not much to talk about here. It's just they announced this, and I guess applications are um, submittable now. I don't know when the deadline is. But that's the thing that happens. Uh, and I cannot wait to either watch this alongside the two of you or at least talk about it every week on Drop Frames having... Uh, both, having both of you already been through a show similar to this. So we'll see how it goes and where it goes from there. Well, time. yes and no. Our show is apparently like based around streaming, but from what I understand, this is more of like a reality show on Twitch, right? Right, but they're still streaming from home. So they're, it's not like they're Are bringing... They? Yeah, they're not bringing people into a house to stream. Oh, okay. Um, I, I'm pretty sure it's just exactly what you guys went through, but Twitch is footing the bill instead of Intel. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, they, I actually got an email s saying something to that effect. Okay, cool. <laughs> What's yeah, the name, what was the name of it again? I forgot. What, what was it called? Stream On. It starts in March. Um, I thought that honestly was a joke for the longest time because there was one of the, the hosts was like tweeting about it nonstop and I caught a retweet of it and I went and clicked on it and the dude had like low hundreds followers. So I was like, is this like this guy you know like i got really confused and i thought the whole thing was just like uh but apparently there's only one of them and that's it so yeah it'll be it'll be yeah. interesting we'll just, no i got an email saying we just wanted to let you know that uh what was happening and that if you want to it's okay to talk about your experiences uh in intl as it relates to stream on oh okay cool yeah yeah well uh we should cover that every week <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll devote 10 minutes or so to that every week. That'll be fun. Oh, dude, it'd be like the talking dead. I know. It'd be great. It'd be great. We'll bring on the person that gets eliminated every... No, we won't do that. We could do that, but we probably won't do that. <laughs> I think that'd be all right. I think that we could coordinate something like that. Something like that. Maybe not every week. I don't know. We'll figure it out. That I don't know if we'd want to coordinate something like that, though. Only if we, we like them, though. Yeah. Yeah. We got to like them first. <laughs> I don't want to bring on an asshole. You know what I'm saying? Uh, That's it. Let's do the show. I, I'm still waiting for this thing to cut out. So uh, let's do some shout outs. Did I set these up? I don't know, Zeke. Do some shout outs and we'll see if it works. Uh, okay. We're good. We're good. We did it. Yay. Hey, everybody. Thank you very much for uh, hanging out to, with us today. Thank you to our guest. Uh, nobody. Really great Thanks, guest. Thanks, nobody. Uh, Here every um, week. My, <laughs> one of my favorite guests. <laughs> it is my favorite guest. These are, I mean, I always, always have fun on the show, but it's, it's nice to have just us sometimes. Because uh, we know each other so well. It's like, you know, don't even have to think about it. Uh, thank you to Co and JP for always being here. Being the best co-host a guy could ask for. Uh, Happy New Year, everybody. Hope your 2018 fucking kicks ass. Uh, I will be broadcasting maybe later today. I'm not sure. I have to call uh, about getting blinds in my uh, house. Like, I've got to get an appointment set up, or maybe they're going to come over. I'm not sure. But uh, I'll, I'll keep you updated. Follow me on Twitter at Ezekiel underscore III. And that's on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube. But if I don't cast today, I will definitely be on tomorrow at noon for more Persona. That's it. Good stuff. Co. Do some shout outs, sir. Will do. Uh, first of all, thank you as always to JP and Zeke. Uh, I wasn't kidding. Like, don't get me wrong. I love guests and I love all the people we bring <laughs> in here, but there's something special. We can just hang out for three hours and talk games and streaming. Um, and yeah, it's a lot of fun. So thank you for being here for it. Uh, if you haven't, if we haven't met before, my name is Ko. Hi. Like Zeke said, I uh, hope you have a happy new year and a happy holidays. I'm streaming every day at 8 a.m. EST now. Uh, we're doing They Are Billions in the Morning. We've got Path of Exile and Xenoblade. Subnautica coming up. Path of Exile, or uh, uh, Persona 5 after Xenoblade. 
um, Subnautica, Monster Hunter, lots of fun things. And uh, yeah, hope to see you there sometime. So thank you for watching today and see you next week. Awesome stuff. Thanks again. Oh, and for anybody who's saying like, can't you just put those blinds up yourself? They're a Christmas present for my mom, so. Yeah, there you go. Uh, we should talk about this real quick because next week it's going to be irrelevant. Uh, the Steam Awards went out. The fuck is that? I don't know. The Steam. It's the Steam Awards. Oh, yeah. For the last few weeks, if you went to the Steam homepage, there was a little thing in the top right. You could click to vote on that week's awards. So I, I'm pretty sure they are Steam user voted awards. Well, Koa based like on this. the date. Choices matter. Which are three? Mm -hmm. <laughs> One, Mom Spaghetti Award is Battlegrounds. Uh, what are the? What are the? Hold on. What is Mom Spaghetti? What is the, What is the connotation? There mean? are games that make you excited. There are games that make you happy. There are games that are so intense that they uh, elicit a physical reaction. We're talking weak knees. We're talking sweaty palms. We're talking fear induced accidents. We're talking your friends reminding you to breathe. We're talking about Mom Spaghetti. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, Labor of Love Warframe. That should have been Path of Exile, but the Warframe devs sent out an email asking their entire user base to vote for them. Hey, man, oh, that's whoa. look, those Warframe devs are smart. They that's a the valid cheat. Yeah, that's a valid cheat. They were the first to do the view, the, the view thing here on Twitch, and they're the first to send out that email. So they're innovators. Yeah, innovators, innovators. Suspension of disbelief, Rocket League, the world. Uh, wait, that's what they do in the Oscars. You know that, right? They do the Oscars, Golden Globes, like their people's representatives, like send out like. Oh, yeah. Like gifts and shit. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Stardew yeah. Valley. It's one, all corrupt. What? World is grim enough. It's all corrupt. Yeah, it's all corrupt. Stop ruining my immersion. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead, JP. World is grim enough. Let's all just get along. Stardew Valley. It's good. No apologies. Okay. The Witcher's okay. enhanced edition. The world. This award oh, is for the game that you love unconditionally. Does it have some faults? Maybe. Do some. Oh, okay. All right. The I, I love how Honey Pop was one of those. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I believe it's Huni Pop, Co. Okay. Jeez. Is it really not Honey Pop? No, I think it's Honey Pop. Oh. <laughs> I don't actually know what it is. I'm just making shit up. You fucking liar. You have all of them, don't you? I've got every... Actually, Coast has got every single one of them if we want to talk about it. Uh, Someone <laughs> gift you? Yeah. <laughs> We've had that Twitter about. exchange already. Uh, just somebody hacked my games list. Yeah. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Defies descriptions, Gary's mod, Cry Havoc and Let, Slip the Dog's War is just cause three. What is that for? Uh oh, okay. Just, I can't read it. The Bard said it best. The game is doesn't uh the game doesn't necessarily offer the biggest explosion, it offers some better potential, potential to be a rampaging force of nature or not, who knows? You're an agent of chaos and no one is gonna tell you what to do. Okay. Haunts my dreams, uh Counter Strike, Global Offensive, uh Rise of the Tomb Raider is soul what is that for? The Vitruvian Man was Leonardo's celebration of the idol form and the spirit that says it looks to celebrate the game from the most loving rendered character, be it a human. Oh, okay. I guess. That's or, weird. The Vitruvian, the Vitruvian Man is the guy that's like this yeah. with the... Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Human body, bro. Uh, oh, Evil Within 2 won Woe Dude 2.0. Just gotta say, that award has my like favorite movie of all time as its reference. I had no idea about that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it says, this award is for the fear and loathing in Las Vegas of video games. Be both in two. Best soundtrack, Cuphead. Even better than oh, I really? expected, Cuphead. And that's it. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Good wins. Yeah. And uh, that's Steam, though. So, you know, like, like, Nier's, or excuse me, uh, uh, Persona's not on there. Yeah. Yeah. These are, are Steam games. They're the Steam Awards. Yep. Cool. All right. That's it. We'll see you guys next week. We'll, I'll make sure we get a guest and uh, we'll do more drop frames every week. Yeah, it's gonna be um, Matt Damon, right? Matt Damon is coming on. He, he had a rough year. He had a rough year in Hollywood. Uh, he had a bunch of failures, so he's dropping down a little bit to our level. And uh, we'll so we negotiated, stuff. and you know, he's given us a pretty fair amount to be on the show. But um, yeah. you know, yeah. we'll it's actually sure. ten million. So we'll also be showing Zeke's asshole, uh, believe it or not, next week. <laughs> <laughs> so and I'll play in. Bashi again. Yeah, he'll he'll play Bashi again. So yeah. tune in next week for a whole lot of asshole and some Bashi. Thanks guys. We're out. See you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>